guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Love G. And it's been a while, guys, na hindi tayo nakita, no? But today, we are going to talk about some questions that we used to ponder, no? As a, as a public or a private school teacher. And we're going to talk about some considerations when we go abroad or when we, we plan to go um, to the U.S. as a J1 teacher. These are the top five questions that I used to um, hear. Let's get started. First is we're going to talk about our salary, diba? So as we used to um, know, um, pinakamalaking sahod natin as a, let's say, um, teacher one, kasi teacher one lang yung na na experience ko noon sa nung time na nasa Philippines pa ako no. So usually nandoon nang tayo roughly sa mga 24 ganyan, 24 and comparing natin dun sa makukuha natin sa i-compare natin siya dun sa US na makukuha natin. It's like uh times 3. I guess yung pinakamalaki na siguro is like hmm, like that. If iwiwi natin siya dyan sa big picture na yan, I know as a, as a teacher dyan sa Philippines, isa din yan sa something masakit sa heart na nag-effort tayo, nag-overtime tayo, oh. no? nag-overtime, tas maaga pa tayo, may extra duties pa, tas wala, puro lang certificate. Oh. <laughs> certificate, thank you! <laughs> Ganun. Pero dito sa US, lahat is compensated. Pag mag-extra duty ka, may compensation ng ganyan. Para mag-extra time ka, um, dinidiscourage nila talagang mag-overtime ka dito. So, but it depends actually. It depends sa uh, setting kung saan kayo mapupunta na state. Okay? As for my experience dito sa kung saan ako ngayon, Dini discourage talaga nila mag overtime pero ako lang yung may gusto mag overtime kasi may internet. Yay! Alright, so ayun. Next is the stability sa trabaho natin. Kasi I for one yun yung inisip ko before na how stable it is kung aalis ako ng public school. Nag-take risk lang talaga ako. Pero kinonsider ko din naman, di ba? Ito mind blowing ano to ah, idea. Imagine mo, yung experience mo pag international ka na. Nag-work ka as a, uh, a teacher for 3 to 5 years in one of the most known country, which is the US. Pagbalik mo kung saan ka gustong mag-apply, eh, ang, ang laki ng edge mo na, di ba? So, yun lang. But, I know, I know, I know, nakakapagod na, ah, uh, Man, re apply na naman after this one na, 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 na. but it's worth um it's worth trying kasi imagine mo 3 to 5 years mo pang ito ah 3 to 5 years mo na trabaho sa US it's like your whole life working in your public or private school try to think about it third one is the leisure all right so sa um sa Philippines of course and dami nating pwedeng kakagalaan especially me for my experience I really miss driving sasakyan motor travel dito travel doon but hanggang travel lang tayo <laughs> kasi tipid tayo sa budget diba mabigat na sa atin magbayad ng fuel <laughs> pero when we try to go out to our comfort zone Hindi lang within Philippines yung matatravel mo. Labas pa sa Philippines. Plus, kung dun pa kayo makakapunta or makaka-work sa well-compensated na mga state, well, definitely, you have a, enough budget to to do your your gala thing, right? Three to five years mo, aside na maakabigay ka pa sa family mo, sa parents mo, sa sa husband, sa wife mo, or whoever sinong binibigyan mo. Aside for that, may budget ka pa rin sa leisure mo. Not like in the Philippines, kung gusto mong gumala, punta ka muna sa loan agency. <laughs> Pero the fourth one is health and wellness. Especially if you're living in rural places. 
it depends upon the state that you're you're living kasi yung iba meron talaga silang hospital within the within the place nila pero sa kung kung doon ka ma assign sa mga rural like sa amin case hindi ka talaga maka access agad-agad sa hospitals and all so backup ka lang talaga ng madaming medicine and then vitamins parage ganun pero when it comes to sepanks yan talaga yung pinakamahirap especially if you're you're a person na sanay ka talaga kasama yung family mo always ganun pero maakay mo yan kung dino tayo eh Yay! and last but not the least is the comfort it depends sa state kung saan kayo na assign pero sa amin sa experience namin yung bahay talaga namin andyan na ah, babayanan na namin is yung general na school. So, let's say magbabayad kami ng this certain amount. Kasali na dun ang tubig, ang, ang kuryente, ang laundry, ganun. Except of course sa niluluto mo, ikaw na yung bibili nun. But, sa ibang state, ikaw yung magbabayad lahat. Tubig, kuryente, sasakyan, all other stuff pa. But, the comfort is good in the US. Sa Philippines naman, Of course, hindi naman natin masyadong ma- ma-appreciate yung comfort no kung wala yung family. Sa Philippines, the advantage is andyan yung family mo, ganun. Pero, may chance naman na makapunta yung family mo. But, take note, of course, J1 ka, married ka, yung, yung spouse mo, yung mga anak mo. Pero kung single ka, just like me, hindi pa rin pwede yung parents mo. So, kung single ka, Sige lang, enjoy mo na lang yung life as single. <laughs> Alright, that's it for today. Kung meron pa kayong mga questions about getting or considering magpunta sa US especially ngayon, uh, be sure to drop your comments below. And then, yeah, plug ko lang yung agency ko. Saan ako naka, nakapasok for US na, which is I Teach America. So, try to look for I Teach America in Facebook. You can apply there. Bilis, bilis, because America is waiting for you. Yeah, and so, ayun, they need teachers. They need you. Alright? So, that's it for today. And I'll see you next time. Bye!